Hey everyone, welcome back to Gear Facts and welcome to my retrospective view of this old warhorse with all its dust and cracks and scratches and non-working buttons. It's the Zoom Player Pro 4040, probably from 1989, maybe 1990, something like that. Anyway, it's one of the earliest multi-effect systems and at the time it was the flagship model for Zoom, who was still a bit of a fledgling company at the time. Anyway, without talking about it too much, let's get straight into some sounds and get an idea of the quality. Switch 3 is dead on this one guys, so I'm going to take you straight to patch number 4. This is more in the classic weirdness area that Zoom has become famous for giving us. It's nice how the LEDs coordinate with the pedal. So the pedal on the right is always expression, the pedal on the left is always volume. And in theory you could put your foot down and use them both together. Here's a nice crunchy old school patch. The expression there is adding reverb, as you can hear. Nice bubbly overdrive there. If I reach over the back, I can turn the master volume up a little bit. Okay, bear in mind this is 90s style metal. This is a nice tightly defined one. So that's a really nice dynamic control over gain there. Allowing you to change the mood of the song without actually switching between patches. Here's another fun one. Thank you. 
Not really a classic wah sound, more of a synth wah. Okay, so editing. Let's start on user bank number one, patch number one, and I can hear a little bit of noise in the background. On the panel here, I can't see anything about noise reduction, so maybe this predates Zoom's excellent ZNR function. Anyway, if I come across noise reduction, I'll let you know. But let's press the edit button. As you can see, we've got directional keys here. And it works like a grid. So button flashing there, button flashing there means that we are in this square right here controlling those parameters. In this particular case, it's modulation parameter number four. What I'm going to do though, I'll start at the beginning in the pre module, go right up to number one or the very top line where we select the actual effects that we're choosing. So here we have a choice of clean one, clean two, overdrive one, overdrive two, distortion one, distortion two, then lead and metal sounds and you'll notice distinct changes in the levels of noise depending on which kind of overdrive we choose. This one sounds like a good starting point because it's just a bit crunchy. So moving down the chain, we can add four degrees of compression as well as zero, so five degrees really. Just a slight change, I might put that on about three I think. We've got a tone control in the pre-module section, so just minus seven through to plus seven. Let's just leave that on zero, because in our next module we've got EQ. Down on parameter three, we're gonna choose our gain, which is from zero to 16. All right, about halfway again. The next one is mysteriously just called dynamics. Let's see what happens. Turn it right up. So it's just zero, one, two, or three. Okay, it's kind of like a presence control. Sounds good when it's up. Here's noise reduction, and we can go from zero to 15. This is a pretty quiet patch now. Choosing an overdrive sound rather than a distortion sound has brought the noise level well and truly under control. So I'll keep that on about four, and we'll come back to it if we need it. There is an external loop as well. There's connectors on the back to route an external effect out. So there's a send and a return for an external effect. So it's good to know that if you've got a pedal already that you like, that you can route it into the whole effects chain here. Let's move on to the next column. Note that you can't just scroll down to the bottom and return to the top. You have to scroll back up to the top using the up key here. So we're in the second column. Our first effect, as I said, is equalizer. So it looks like we've got a little bit of treble boost and a bit of bass boost, so kind of a scooped EQ layout there. I think that's fine. For the sake of this demo, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. So setting number one in this column is our EQ. If we switch to number two, we've got Amp Simulator. So we go down the column to choose different color of amps, which is interesting. Uh, box type, depth, and then tone control again. Let's just run through the color numbers. Just three colors to choose from. I guess that's kind of referring to the color of the sound. And the box type, I presume that means cabinet. Number 
one I think sounds sort of the toughest so anyway that's enough of ant simulation moving on to number three we've got auto <laughs> Now in this patch modulation isn't actually activated and it's column number 2012 so you press the 2 pedal here and that switches on modulation. It looks like we started with a soft flanger there. Then a pitch shifter. Phaser. I didn't hear any phases at all in the presets so this will be interesting. Yeah, pretty good. Tremolo. What's next? Step. One of those interesting sounds pioneered by Zoom that never actually gets used in any final recordings. Slow attack. And finally chorus, which is a little strange, usually chorus would be your first modulation effect. It's quite a nice thick chorus too. Delay, we've got mono and ping pong delay, which is your stereo effect. I think we all know what delay sounds like, so for the sake of keeping this demo short, let's move on. Then we've got reverb, three types, hall, delay and room. That's about the full level of detail that I want to go into at this stage, guys, for the Zoom 4040. It certainly is a fascinating museum piece, and it really is kind of worthy of that term these days. It really looks very dated, and it sounds quite dated, too. It's very much of its time, but that doesn't mean it's garbage. It's definitely worth having a look at. If you see one secondhand somewhere, and you've got a bit of spare money in your pocket, I think it's worth picking it up just to give you a day of retrospection about the sounds of the late 80s and the early 90s. Such humble beginnings for Zoom. Anyway, leave your comments, guys. I'm always interested to discuss guitar multi-effects units or anything else that I review here on Gear Facts. Zoom Player Pro. Look at that old font there. I've got some other links to other videos that might interest you, so until next time, guys, please like, comment, or subscribe to Gear Facts, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Zoom 4040.